can you go? How far can you push? Well, the answer will be decided in just a moment here as we're loading into game one on Pokemon Stadium 2. Let's get it popping. Uh, oh, e exclamation point on Lucina on that skin? Uh, uh, hold on, what what region am I in again? Because I'm sitting here with House of 3000, I see that skin, I see th that tag, and I'm just like, that's Mr. E. But no, it's not, it's Lynx paying tribute, pr most likely, to one of the top reps of the character. But very cool way to start things off uh, as Kaori now just by playing around, right? There's that platform movement we were talking about before to just kind of limit where Lynx can approach swinging from the ground and the mist tech uh -oh. you're gonna hold on because of a well-timed Arsene but even then just not enough and what a clean first talk. Yeah that one was looking uh, pretty easy on the side of Lynx there. I mean Kaori gonna go ahead and try to get things started this time around just was not able to recover in a way that was safe but we already have Arsene almost here because of that Rebels Guard we saw a little bit earlier and only 32 some odd percent in counting here. Arsene will be here right now. That's a good neighbor. Let's see what Lynx has to say about this. It's going to be the first time in this set we're going to see them actually have to play around our set because last time they were able to close it out so easily. A beautiful gun dash there from Ledge, right? Trying to find pressure into a grab mix-up, but just wasn't able to do it a little bit late on the find. Meant that, unfortunately, Lynx was just able to lock it down. And really, this has not even been a story of Kaori e you know, not executing. It's just been Terry hasn't got an opportunity. The movement's been on point. The openers they look for have been on point. It's just Lynx has really spaced everything perfectly, found the range on the sword, and then just has really capitalized in a way we're not used to seeing with Lucina. Yeah, no, I mean, it's honestly like a bit bewildering how convincing this is looking for Lynx right now. Kaori just has been struggling to find a way in to convert into meaningful damage. We haven't been able to see like, you know, a falling nair into a grab or like a, a down air into like up air chains or anything. It's just been so difficult. There we go, a big chunky back air, but it's still not enough to get the KO. And there we have the Tetracarn finally being enough to secure the knockout. Yeah, my friend, that counter right comes out so fast and mm -hmm. so much damage. It's just that there's not a lot you can do. And when a, as good as Dolphin Slash is, right, it's got a hitbox. So that's going to be the death knell. I like the gun movement. But once again, that neutral is just not fast enough. And Lynx, again, with the spacing, the call out. And that's one of the things Lynx has done very well. It's just micro spacing and calling out Whoa. the combo starter from Kaori into then the optimal punish. Yeah, and I just wish that Kaori was able to get, like, an up air onto Lynx to at least start some juggles or try to get like a falling up air conversion onto a plat to lead to more damage, but it just has not been in the cards. Trying to aggress here, we'll have Arsene in just a moment, but it might be likely the last Arsene of the match. I like that the option they're waiting for the grab. Racking is too much, and then the footstool, but Arsene online. Don't worry, he's here, and that top hat, those wings, gonna help you soar your way back to stage. But going high, if Lucina had been in a different position, that could have been a stock. However, you've got one more chance, and Kaori at least trying to stretch this to get some damage or something. But these Arsenes have done almost nothing, my friend. Yeah, no, it's, it's been a little bit rough. I mean, just kind of whipping a lot, too. There's some moments here where Kaori could get some guaranteed damage and just isn't able to place the hitbox in the right spot. And now, I mean, might, nope, doesn't matter. Lynx gets the falling there, I believe, and that's going to be enough. But we can see it right there. Run it back. We're heading right back to PS2. They're going to run it again. Hopefully, Kaori is able to swing back a little bit stronger. And for a character, right, Joker is a character we are very used to seeing play, you know, with a strong punish game, sure, but play this very mid-range, aha, gun, gun. You, you, you find your Rebels Guard, you charge Arsene, and you play this mid-range defense. You slow the game down, control the pace, pick your spots, and explode. But we just saw Kaori have to scramble that whole time. Lynx's pressure was relentless, and the speed of decision-making really stood out to me. Yeah, I, I, I'd agree. I feel like... You know, we kind of ramp up on the decision-making tree. And these are the up-air strings I was looking for in the first game. And the fact that we got it pretty early on in this game number two is leading me to believe that you might be having an easier time finding your opening. That Aha was perfect and connected. We got that little damage over time as well. Look at this ledge trapping. Goes for the down gun. It doesn't work, but there's so much pressure being exerted now from Kaori that I feel like was completely absent in that first game. Yeah, the roll in, though, is going to give Kaori another opportunity to extend this scenario. And the gun almost found a pickup off the platform, but just, again, that platform positioning from Lynx nice. was good enough that it didn't matter. Whoa. 
Okay, I think was expecting maybe a little bit of a lower recovery there. Wanted to go for maybe the Tetracarn, but was not able to find the opportunity as Link's recovered a little bit higher than I think Killer was expecting. The Dolphin Dodge just using it to get off me because you notice, right? And this, I think, is the thing that Lynx has caught into. Ooh. Kaori has been loving these short hops, has been loving the empty jumps, um, and just jumping in general. And Lucina, especially, is a character that excels at punishing that. We've seen Lynx just capitalize on these time and time again, and now it has been staying grounded in this game as an, an opener that has allowed Kaori to just stay a lot closer in this one. Ooh, rolls in on the plat and gets hit by a back air, and it's enough to secure the stock there. But Kaori not trailing behind by too much. If you get like a a dash attack or a forward tilt here, you can go ahead and push your opponent off the stage and try to go for a ledge trap or even a straight back air even. You can see Kaori going for a few of them, but maybe a little bit too telegraphed. Uh, speaking of ledge trap, by right, using the double jump, faint the ledge trump, and then try and find the pickup afterwards. You're going to reset the situation, but you want to find the stock before Arsene comes online. Because yes, Arsene does mean you'll probably just close it out that way, but it also means that you have to open the stock with a lot less damage potential to just find a way into this lead. Best case scenario now, that that Arsene is not only almost here, but not quite here yet. So those iframes couldn't reduce it at all. All right, there we go. And that's great, honestly. We can see the adjustments being made from Kaori there. It was like, all right, I keep trying to go out for these Tetracarn Edgars. We keep recovering a little bit higher. So keeps throwing out hitboxes at the range in which Lynx would like to double jump and says, oh, what if I stuffed you here? And that's how we saw the first stock get taken. But what else now? I mean, our sense are really gone and we only have 6%. Like, what, 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 what's going on here? I mean, he just wasn't able to find the opening. It looked like just really a repeat of the first game. Kaori tried to put, get a little too aggressive on pushing the opening, and Link's, again, just ruthlessly efficient with the initial punish into the decision-making follow-ups that have just caused Kaori to start scrambling. And Kaori, as a player, it really stands out to me. When things are going well, they execute, and they have the game plans. They have the knowledge, and they have the execution. But they start to panic when things aren't going their way, and it allows their opponent to snowball them. All right. And panic cannot be the name of the game right now. You need to lock in. You need to make sure that you're able to come out on top and really have the doubters be silenced. But so far, I mean, Kaori struggling a little bit. We do get a second Arsene on this stock, though, and I think that's kind of one of the best things that you could ask for. Uh-oh, that's going to be a re-grab, and that means you're going to get forward smash. And I don't know if you just saw that in the webcam. Kaori not happy with that one. That looked like maybe that gun was intended to come out the other direction. And that's a question where is it a snapback issue? What's going on? Because I don't think that was even an attempt. Well, I think that was a controller mistake. I agree play. as well. I think that was definitely not intentional. But now you just kind of got to run with it, right? Mm -hmm. It is what it is. You get how you live. We keep pushing on. And it's like, yeah, 60%. You got Arsene now. You need to capitalize here. That back air, force Link into the corner. Get the edge guard. You see, it's even a higher recovery than the past like three times Lynx has been sent off stage. Because they don't want to deal with this. Frickin' Arsene, right? That back air is too scary. I like the, these double jumps, the gun, now just trying to find pressure to find this pickup up because you have to be so careful here, Flambo. 73% right? Joker not light means that if you don't find the stock fast, you have to do the whole next one at kill percent. You will have no margin for error. But right now, Kerry has locked down the movement oh. to do something until finally, unfortunately, the shield breaker is going to end the set. Not the way you want to go out. You were so locked locked in, you were ready to go, and it was just the slightest of missed spacings that reached out and snatched it away from you. Yeah, and I got, I got big love for for shield breaker because i personally believe that like if you play marth or lucina every set i feel like you should get one of those like you know that the tool is too good to not oh there that's what you were talking about in the cam yeah oh but diff different mm -hmm. scenario exactly but, I mean, the, the woof that's we, the win we getting saw a lot of those throughout the set a lot of frustration a lot of tilt coming in and i don't know if it was controller issues i don't know if it was just you know use things weren't going well and you were tilting, but I think that frustration kind of came through in the gameplay, it came through on the player cam, and I, it's unfortunate that that's how that set had to go because when that mental gets to you, right, it's not what either player wants to yeah. show that highest level of competition. But we're gonna have the reverse gun right here, I think, we're gonna see in the player cam. Gonna jump, yeah. bang, bang, and then the... Yeah, yeah, yeah he's... Just, yeah, I I'm with you on that one, bro. I get it, I get it. Like, it's one of those things that's so frustrating, but the spacing there, the positioning, the Lynx recognized to go for that, had that set up and conditioned, right? 
that was, I mentioned it before, but that was the thing that really impressed me in that set, was not just the discipline, but the speed at which Lynx already had the next decision lined up and ready to go.